Hey guys, my name is Kayla. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you've watched some of my videos before. Today we're going to do a book haul. Um, this is a little bit different because I didn't buy all these books at one time. I've been trying to just buy less books and use my library more, and so when I do buy books I'm trying to buy things that I've already read and don't own, or things that I have every intention of reading pretty soon, um, so that my physical TBR doesn't get too out of hand. But either way, so these are all the books that I've bought basically since March, um, since quarantine and stuff has happened. It's still a decent amount of books, I'm going to be honest, but it's much less than I have purchased in my past. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'm, I've am i sorted these by where I purchased them, um, and the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is a book that I got from my on post thrift store. I'm pretty sure I got this like right before quarantine, um, but this is The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. I got this um, for 10 cents and it is in pretty freaking good condition outside of the fact that it has the stupid Target permanent sticker on it. Why do they do that? It's so dumb. But this is a weird book. It's kind of like a murder mystery with um, some supernatural elements I believe. I think from, I'm like five chapters into it right now. I just started the audio of it. I'm trying to read more books that I own, but because I physically can't read as quickly anymore because I don't have the time, I've been getting the audiobooks of things that I physically own from the library so that I can say that I've read more of my books that I actually own. So when someone's like, have you read this book? I can be like, uh, yes, absolutely I have. Um, I got this book, one of my friends recommended it uh, a few years ago um, in my book club for maybe a book for October or something, I don't know, but it it's okay so far. I mean, it's pretty early on and it's not the kind of book that I generally reach for, but I'm giving it a shot um, and we'll see how it goes, but moving on. So the next few books come from a little local bookstore, a used bookstore um, that I discovered through the book club that I am a part of, so I come here pretty often, so I actually don't buy that many books from here anymore because she doesn't get that many, um, that much newer inventory in. Like I've just browsed her shelves so many times. I struggle sometimes to find what I want there. But either way, this is one of the things I got from there. It's literally not been open. It is a box set hardcover of The Hunger Games. Ugh. And this is very exciting find because my copies are pretty bad. They're like from when the books came out and I've read them so many times so they're just in crap condition. Um, and then I also got these beauties. These ones are books I purchased because they're pretty um, and they were ten dollars but Grim Fairy Tales. Look at those. Oh my gosh. This is the kind of book I buy because I want my shelves to be beautiful you know. And then the Arabian Nights. This is actually my favorite copy. I love the blue with the gold and I also love that it's the title here instead of the picture. You know what I mean? I think the picture ruins it. So the last of the books I got from there are actually all books in the Codex Alera by Jim Butcher. I saw um, Brandon Sanderson talk about the Codex Alera in one of his BYU lectures and I'd never read it before. I've actually never read anything by Jim Butcher. Not even the Dresden Files, not even a single book. <laughs> so, um, but this series I wanted to read because of his recommendation, and so I picked up the first book in it. But also, like, this one's not this, like, I would never keep this on my shelf. I'm really weird about the way things look on my shelves. Like, I will buy mass market paperbacks like this when they're cheap to read them, but if I like the book, I will go out and purchase a nicer copy of it so that my shelves look pretty. I'm vain. I don't know what else to say. But um, so this is only two bucks, so I picked it up to start reading it. But they also had the, uh, I believe it's the fifth and the sixth. Yep, the fifth and the sixth books in the series in hardcover. Um, and so I got both of them hoping that I like the series, I guess, but they weren't crazy expensive. They're like four or five bucks a piece. Um, but one of the interesting things about this is. I don't know anything about the series, first of all, but I do know that Brandon Sanderson is notorious for using names from things that he likes um, in books as like little, I don't know, like an ode to it or like maybe not an easter egg, but things for people to discover when they're reading it. Um, but Princeps is a character in Star Set, and this is Princeps Fury, so I thought that was interesting. Last used bookstore stuff, um, I got Red Seas Under Red Skies by Scott Lynch. This is the second book of the Gentleman Bastard series. Um, I got this from one of the stores, and also this one, Saga Volume 2, which I'm reading right now, um, during quarantine because they had um, pickup 
and stuff, you could email them the list of books that you were looking for and you could pay over the phone and pick it up and they just bring it out to your car for you. Um, and I also got some grab bags from them, but I actually didn't like any of the books in there. Um, a lot of them were by Marion Zimmer Bradley, who wrote The Mists of Avalon, which I loved growing up. But as an adult, I learned some really terrible things about her as a person. Um, and so I decided I'm not going to read anything by her again. Um, so anyway, so I, I can link some information if you're curious about that. I don't, I'm not an expert on it. I just remember reading it and being like, I don't want to support her. So moving on to the newer books that I got. My final, I actually canceled book of the month. So this is the last book of the month book I got. Um, but this is The Splendid and the Vile by Eric Larson. This is nonfiction about Winston Churchill. And I actually did start this on audio, um, but it's very dry and it's very big. It's over 500 pages, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I'm planning on reading it at some point, but it's the kind of thing I wasn't into at the moment when I started it. I had just come off a World War II kick um, and I, it wasn't what I wanted to read, to be quite honest. But I, I am interested in it, and I actually really like the cover. I think it's kind of spooky. All right, um, and then I read Red Rising this uh, last month, I think, and I loved it, so I went out and bought that book, um, and I was very excited to have it. See how little it is? You guys could definitely pick this up, just saying. Um, and then Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, mm -mm -mm. one of my most anticipated releases this year. Got that one didn't get assigned or anything like that. I just got the hardcover um, from Barnes & Noble. Um, also, a lot of Brandon Sanderson coming. I bought um, White Sands Volume 1 and 2. I already read one. Feeling okay about this. Um, not my favorite so far. Definitely my least favorite thing I've read by Brandon Sanderson, but still interesting. I just don't think that graphic novels... Saga, I've really loved. The artwork, the story, I really loved. And I don't know, maybe that one's just so good that everything else from here on out won't feel as good. Um, but I just think these are just the art and this is not really my my style. Um, and then the story itself is interesting, but like knowing the world building and stuff that Brandon does uh, so far, it's not, I'll, I'll save my opinion until I finish all three. How about that? Okay, more Sanderson. <gasps> <gasps> I bought the big floppers, the big floppy paperbacks. Um, of all of these because uh, I wanted larger, oh my gosh, I've already got lipstick on this one. I wanted larger maps and the colored, the maps in this are colored and each book has different maps in it actually, front and back. Um, so there's maps and then there's some nice radiant stuff um, and each one of these has that kind of thing in the front. So, Shalon and then let's see what Oathbringer has. I actually haven't looked at this one, I don't think. Oh. So. Yep. That's that. Then I got um, the box set of the Broken Earth Trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. I've already read the first one and I've um, about a quarter of the way through the second one and I highly recommend these. Like, granted I haven't finished this yet, but the first book, the ending, the last 50%, honestly, blew my mind. So good. I'm definitely going to be talking more about this in my wrap up later on this month. And finally I bought The Rage of Dragons. I know I've talked about this a bunch of times but I didn't talk about the way this book actually feels. I bought the hardcover and this paper doesn't feel like paper. Like it feels more sturdy. It almost has like a rubbery sort of feel to it. And then also this part right here feels like that fake soft leather that the um, the nicer like Barnes and Noble editions of classics have. Um, and I like that it's kind of gray and it just says Rage of Dragons real small right there, gold embossed. Um, it's kind of an expensive hardcover, but it's super high quality, honestly. Like I was, when this came, I was really impressed with it. So if you're on the fence about which version to buy, I recommend the hardcover for sure. Um, but that's, uh, that's it. That's all the stuff I bought since March. Um, and to be quite honest, pretty proud of myself because I have read a lot of these books already. I am notorious for just buying books and buying books and buying books that I just don't end up reading and then I declutter them without ever reading them. Um, and so this is, this is pretty good for me. So 
uh, yeah, I just wanted to make this quick video. I'm gonna be filming an unhaul, so I wanted to maybe film a haul. You know, juxtapositioning. I don't know. I just thought that would be kind of cool. And I saw uh, Victoria from Musical Bookworm do an unhaul where she went to her local uh, free little libraries, and I double checked. Um, to find some of my area and there's lots of them so I'm gonna make a video about that pretty soon um, Maybe even this weekend. So either way, I'm gonna get out of here you guys Thank you so much for watching like comment and subscribe if you would be so kind stay tuned and there'll be more to come